In this video, we will show you the scanning workflow for a WaxUp implant bridge. Start from creating an order. Select Preparation in the Tooth Overview field. From the Abutment menu, choose Wax Up Abutment. After that, click on the Bridge menu button. Once the order is set, click Scan. The software will automatically take you to the Scanit Dental scanning engine, where your scanning steps will be indicated on the workflow bar. The overview window on the left will display scanning information. The first step in this workflow, in our case, is the lower jaw with wax ups. You will be asked to insert an arch with a wax up. Remember that the front side should be facing the inside of the scanner. Click Next to start scanning. Select the area of interest, choose either a whole model or mark only an arch, and after doing that, click Next. The scanning process will start. Once scanning of the lower jaw is completed, click Next to proceed to the next step. Now, take the model out of the scanner, screw in the scanner buttons, and insert the model into the scanner. It's worth mentioning here that in cases where you have only one scan abutment, which needs to be used to scan all implant replicas in the model, you can choose the option Use One Abutment. In order to use this function, first you will be prompted to screw in the scan abutment, for example, for 237. Then insert the model into the scanner, scan it, and then take it out. Then unscrew the scan abutment, and screw it into another implant replica, and repeat the same procedure as before for all the implant replicas. However, as you can see in our example, we have enough scan abutments, so we will scan all of them at once. Again, select the area of interest and click Next. The software will start scanning. Wait until the process is completed. When the model is scanned, click Next. At this point, you need to align all the system scan flags with the scan abutments in the scan. To do that, you can use either one or three point alignment. When you are ready with the alignment, click Next to move to the gingival mask step. In this step, you need to scan a gingival mask. Take the model with the scanner buttons out of the scanner. Unscrew them and insert the model with a mask into the scanner. Close the door and click Next. As before, select the area of interest and click Next when ready. When scanning is completed, click Next again to move to the Alignment sub-steps. In the first sub-step, Align Gingival Mask, the Gingival Mask and the Preparation Model will be aligned automatically. However, you can always use Manual Alignment if needed. To do it manually, simply choose the Align Manually button. Click Next. You will move to the Align to Preparation sub-step. The procedure here is the same as in the previous sub-step. When ready, click Next. At this point, you need to insert the wax up into the scanner, as it is shown in the overview window. Close the door and click Next. When scanning is completed, go to the next sub step. In here, you can use our trimming tools to trim a little bit of the scan, or you can simply choose Next to go further. The next sub-step is optional. After trimming, you can move to the Scan Supplementary sub-step. By doing this, you can flip the wax-up model upside down and scan it from the other side. The last sub-step in this stage 
is to align the wax up to the preparation scan. We recommend using the three-point alignment to get better precision for this procedure. By clicking Next, you'll be moved to the last step, Design, in which your scans will be saved. Now if you want to start designing, just click the Design button and you'll be moved to the Dental Designer. You have now learned how to scan a wax-up implant bridge. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.